Hi, this is Gary Kay. We're here at ISE 2024 on the first day of the show. Here with Steve Capling of Christie Digital and standing in front of the micro tiles. Um, I mean, this is kind of like a application, artistic application for micro tiles. Yeah, it's simply just a, a, an artistic way to uh, you know, install or use micro tiles LED. Uh, just having some fun with it and showcasing some of the things you could do if you wanted to get a little creative and didn't really need it in a video wall application style. So there's, you know, because it's such a unique architecture, you can just really uh, simply create different shapes and, and opportunities with it. And yeah, and you have it in a larger form factor there. Uh, what's a pixel pit? pixel pitch of that and the size of that. So in fact, that one is actually our 0.75 millimeter, and that one is a, um, uh, a 1.2 meter wide by a 4.7 meter high uh, video wall, and it is you know really quite impressive in the eye cap. Uh, eye cap I mean, with 0.75 millimeter, you're now at the resolution of direct view L LCD. I mean, yeah. Like, the, the perceived resolution. I mean, pretty this can, well. This can completely replace a meeting room display, but also give you an incredible images yeah. for a large format. It certainly could, and uh, it's been used you know, for that purpose. In fact, um, you can even use it like in corporate displays for yeah. uh, marketing walls or lobby displays if you wanted to, as well as, uh, say, a boardroom or something along that line. What's really unique about this architecture is that it's upgradable. So really, this is a 0.75 millimeter, but if somebody were to install, let's say, uh, a 1.5 mil wall today, and then five years down the road, they decide they want to do a tighter pixel pitch, you can actually just change the module. Yeah, and we should itself. show that, because the, the, the infrastructure mounting is the same. Yeah. The only difference is the, the modules. Right, so you can just simply like, you know, let's just say this was a, a 1.5 I'm mil. not touching it, you know that. Yeah, yeah, I'll do that for you if you don't mind. <laughs> <laughs> but um, yeah, you simply just, you know, upgrade to the new tiles, uh, the 0.75 from 1.5, you literally take them off, and then you would just put on the new ones. And the great thing about MicroTiles LED is it doesn't matter where it goes uh, on the wall itself, it's self-sensing neighbor detection technology so that it just uh, really self-senses and uh, realigns itself instantaneously. And then you don't even have to remove the architecture, the chassis, the cabling, the wall mount. Right. And of course, that saves a lot of labor and time too for future application or future generational uh, I mean, you, you had, very forward thought thinking on the design of this in general. I want to step back here and I want people to see the image mapping that you're doing up above. Uh, walk us through what we're actually looking at here on the left side. Yeah, so we're just having some fun. In fact, uh, these um, uh, hex designs are actually, uh, hexagons are actually kind of part of our new corporate uh, branding refresh. As you can see, it's kind of everywhere on the wall here and stuff like that. But we're just taking these large uh, hex uh, 3D mod models and map projection mapping on, and we have three M4K 25 RGBs, which is our 4K RGB series products, and doing some unique mapping with some individual content on each yeah, did one. Did you show the projectors up there in the and, ceiling uh, mapping them? Yeah, so we've got uh, we've got three of them up there on the truss, rigged and and mapping. On, sorry about that, mapping on it, and just you know just like you know a stager or uh, yeah. somebody might for uh, some kind of. Um, uh, architectural mapping on a building or, or something outdoors or indoors or whatever it might be. So again, just kind of doing something a little more creative with it yeah. than just projecting on a screen. Yeah, and but here you also have, you're, you're showing angles, right, obviously. Yeah. And uh, again, huh, is that that's uh, two different that's, projectors. It is, and that's the uh, Griffin series. So yeah. our Griffin uh, uh, 4K 50 RGB, and there's two of those blended to uh, to project on that screen, and one of them, of course, is actually sort of mapping yeah. the angle. One, one of them you're mapping an angle, the other one is flat. Yeah, exactly. And yeah, then, that's really impressed. That's that's the Griffin series. And speaking of which, you actually have static projectors here. The one that grabbed my attention right now yeah, is little, the Captiva. Our little short, ultra short throw uh, Captiva for uh, smaller applications and uh, screens up to about 150 inches in diagonal. Yeah. And so that's you know something that can be used in really close proximity spaces. Of course, you can pretty much put it up against the wall and project a 120 inch screen. Yeah, I mean that that's uh, pretty awesome. And of course, here's the Griffin, which is the one which are the ones mounted up there at the top. This is yeah. your workhorse. It is the workhorse. So that's the big one up top. And uh, you know the nice thing about the our, our Christie's RGB uh, infrastructure is it's all in one technology. And of course, RGB as uh, as you know includes. Uh, three individual um, laser diodes. So you've got the red, the green, and the blue, and then so you don't need a phosphor wheel to create the, extra, the other yeah, so light you colors. Get, so you get a less mechanical concern, but also you get 
yeah. much better contrast you, ratio. Contrast ratio and color, especially color. In fact, you get 111% uh, more color, more than double uh, what you'd get in a typical laser projector. Yeah. And so, and I don't know if you actually maybe remember, but you uh, helped us do a survey about uh, yes. seven years ago. Yeah, and I one remember. of the biggest reasons, like 76% of respondents said, the reason that for choosing projection technology was color performance. Yeah. And so we, you know, that was kind of taken to heart that, uh, you know, and, and helped us sort of go down this path of, of being, you know, um, not just experts, but focusing uh, very, very, becoming very focused on RGB laser technology. Yeah, one of the things that uh, Christie's always done at shows is, is uh, make their booth immersive. And in this case, you literally have an immersive room. Uh, again, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six projectors. Um, and this is actually interactive. The floor is actually reacting. You got sensors. When you touch it. Yep. Walls too. Yeah, the walls as well, so you can see it. Uh, Again, this is sort of just to show you what you can do. Well, in a it is showing what you can do. But what's interesting enough is actually I was in uh, uh, Integrate in Dubai earlier this year, and there is a uh, place. Uh, uh, there's a a, uh, a venue there, and it's kind of done the same sort of thing. So this is actually a real world application I've seen. In, in Dubai, and, and the companies that are uh, helping us with it, Theorize and Augmenta, uh, that's creating this, this experience for us here, um, is something that you know they help uh, customers so do. This isn't well. just a demo, this is an actual duplication of a real instance. Yeah, yeah, essentially it is, and content that they've, uh, they've curated to do so. So there's four different types of content, and uh, for, from a Christie perspective, what's in here is our new 4K 13HS projectors, and those are our 4K 1DLP technology. You can see those here in the yeah. ceiling. Uh, shoot the ceiling and you can see the projector. Yeah, and uh, you know, 4K, of course, is very become very popular, uh, and the nice thing about you know, our HS also has our bold color technology, so again, focusing a little more on that color side of things, you get a better color performance because it does have the red and blue lasers in uh, in this technology, and of course, you know uh, we also have our own Christie Twist built into it, so it's really easy from a blending standpoint to be able to uh, to do that um, that kind of you know application where you're blending like we are here with six projectors. Yeah, yeah you're blending and mapping yeah. six different projectors. Exactly. All right, let's head over here because obviously. Uh, you're very involved in command and control, have always been involved in command and control, show control, uh, management of, uh, of network operation centers. Yeah, definitely. So Hedra is our new secure all-in-one um, uh, control room uh, processing technology that uh, we're kind of introducing in Europe here for the first time this year. It launched last year uh, in the summer of uh, 2023, and Hedra is, uh, is, a great, is great for several applications. You know, it's not. It's a small control rooms. It's got uh, up to four 4K outputs, and it can be from either nine, 18, or 27 inputs. So depending on what you're monitoring or need to, to manage from a network uh, management standpoint, you, that's what you can you can plug up to 27 um, in there. It also has uh, KVM control. So what that means is actually instead of having multiple. Uh, keyboards and mice on your operator stations, you can actually bring this into your operator station management pro, uh, program and take away all of the extra uh, monitors that you have in there and reduce it to one or two monitors from maybe four or six monitors and one keyboard and mouse from three or four of them, right? Yeah. And so it's really easy, intuitive software that allows you to just sort of click and just take control over each individual window that's on your screen. And you're actually you running do a key here certain keystrokes for each type, uh, like most control rooms have. Yeah, and today. you're actually running it here in the booth. Yeah. This is real. And uh, which one of these is Hedra? No, actually, oh, I'm sorry, there it is. It's the bottom there one. Yeah. There you go, there's Hedra right there. That's the rack mount Hedra with 18 inputs, four outputs. Is that what you said? Uh, well, inputs? there's... Uh, there's a modular. Four outputs, and there's up to 27. I can't 27. remember which, okay. which one that one is, but uh, one of them is there's a 9, 18, and 27. There you go. 9, 18, 27. Yeah. And uh, obviously running the booth here as well. In addition, AV over IP with your uh, Christy, with the Christy Terra system. Yeah. And, uh, and then... Uh, and our Pandora's box is actually our uh, show control and show yeah. management. For all the content. For all the content in yeah. the booth. So, so Pandora's box is running everything 
here uh, at ISC today. Yeah, that's fantastic. Yeah, and then one more thing just to point out is our new Core Series 3. So that's new for us. Uh, uh, it was launched a couple months ago and it's debuting here. So Core Series 3 is an improvement over our Core Series 2 in a lot of ways. In fact, it's uh, an improvement in a power consumption. So it's actually, uh, I think it's 30% or 40% uh, more efficient. It's also 30% uh, lighter, and the cost is, is significantly reduced. So we've done a lot of things with Core Series 3, and we've got, you know, this one's a 0.9 millimeter pixel pitch, but we have five pixel pitch options that go all the way up to 2.5. So Is that all indoor? It is, yes. Yeah. All of our LED is indoor, but this is actually a great solution for, obviously, you know, for for lobby displays, corporate displays, but also for control room video walls. Yeah. Because it's uh, sort of not at the higher end like Microtile's yeah. LED is, but still has great performance and uh, great quality features. Yeah, and then you have no seams at all in your control room. Exactly. Yeah. exactly. So you have an option to use L LCD or LED? Yeah. yeah. All right. Uh, awesome. Great tour. Yeah. Uh, congratulations. Y'all have done phenomenal. Love your stuff. Love the Microtile's, obviously. And I, and I really appreciate the fact that you're still making projectors because, yeah. and in fact, if you go to a movie, you've got a 50% 50 chance, 50 chance of seeing a Christie projector yeah. in a so movie theater because y'all have had a significant impact yeah. on the movie theater industry. My local theater has 18 uh, Christie projectors in it, uh, our little theater there. So I guess that's not little anymore. No. 18 is, uh, but it's, they're small theaters, right? Yeah. But it, it looks beautiful. Um, if you want to learn more, go to ChristyDigital.com. Of course, we're going to shoot individual product videos on everything we've talked about here. You go to RayPuzz.com slash ISE and type in Christy in the video search window. You'll find everything even on Hedra. We're going to do one specifically on Hedra, which is new here at the show. Right, Steve, thank there. you very much. I appreciate, appreciate it. it. And uh, thanks for everything you do for the industry. Thanks for watching. All of our ISE coverage is at RayPuzz.com.